Welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is a going to be an unusual episode. We're going to do a certain amount of uh, um, hacking and skullduggery. I want to stress that this is this could be viewed as cheating, but we're not really achieving anything we couldn't pl achieve by playing straight. Um, it's basically working around a bug in the game where if you don't all do the Brilhasti quest at once, you cannot do it at all with the ones who weren't there the first time, at least not without a lot of jumping through hoops. So theoretically, I could do it with jumping through hoops um, in the game, and that would be legitimate in a way, but it would take a lot of viewing time and I'd probably make mistakes and re have to re-record multiple times and it's just somehow telling the game just let me do the quest again feels more appealing. Now this may actually have un unexpected repercussions because the way that the reward is written could cause it to lower the experience of several of my party members back to where they were. So we'll see how it works out. Um, so the first step is uh -huh, <laughs> the first step is to run away from a hobgoblin. Uh, three safety song. No fights. Okay, so first I'm gonna make a save. First I'm gonna make a save state. Not at pause the recording. They're very similar keystrokes. And now I forget how to bring up the monitor. Well, here's the monitor window. Now we're into the monitor. And here are my notes on resetting the quest flag. Maybe I should do it over top of the game window, which is going to be the larger window. Uh, can I really not see both these windows at the same time? Okay. This is, that's a little irritating. Anyway, so for these are the where the quest flags are located for each of the characters. I'm probably currently on four because I started the aborted quest and met the king. But we can set it back to we're writing values into memory. This is this should set us back to a point where uh, the old man has told us that we need to go kill Brilhasti Aptarj. But we haven't done it yet. I did try to scan through memory to find the character values uh, myself, but I didn't know how they were encoded. They didn't see if they have their names. They may not have the names as names, just pointers to memory, because I did find all of the encoded, the, the data for rendering text to the screen. Um, anyway, whatever. It's probably not that interesting. If I knew more, it would be more interesting. And if this was the right audience, it would be more interesting. Let's go see if that worked. I don't know that it will. Thank you. 
Yep. He's now telling us to go back and kill off Bilhasti Eptarch, which is exactly what I wanted. So. Let's go back and do it. Uh, exit. It should be easier this time. I don't know whether Lillian has to survive the fight. One way that we're weaker than last time is um, I have, I think, one person to, de to cast Death Strike. Maybe Lillian can cast Death Strike now, but. I also have other spells. <laughs> Quite a bit better ones. I mean, Death Strike's good and all. Okay, go down to the portal. Interesting that the safety song does not stop people from trying to join your party. end up going back to the label control. Uh, sure, I'll fight these. Why not? Rhyme. Oh, rhyme's not enough to kill everything. I'm a little surprised. Still face the spirit mage. Not anymore. Okay. I feel weird that we're getting an acid burst chest on this level because I don't think I ever did when I was 
grinding down here. South, one, two, three, four, east, two north, two west, two north, three west. I didn't even notice my compass was off. Okay. Next thing to do is, I don't know how many spell points I'm going to need, so let's take a gem. Lillian, you can have one too. Um, let's switch to Sanctuary score. fights on. I will have my my fighters with stone blades attack the ones who will advance. Uh, bring around Ballad just in case. Um, Elendor is going to cast Cold on the Dark Guards. And Griselda is going to cast Preclusion to stop the demons. Lillian can cast Anti-Magic. I attacked the guards too fast before they advanced. But Lady Oka Shield is sufficiently slow to kill one. Okay. Attack them some more. More healing song. Hide again. I don't know if I'm going to really need the rogue as the secret weapon this time. Wither fist on the guards. Um, uh, ogre strength. Can I try soul whip just to see what it does? The roll has to. Okay, more anti-magic. Almost out of dark guards. I'm gonna cast rest. Mostly Lillian is resting rest for her own sake. Restoration. The full heal for the whole party.
I'm just trying to see if the casters can take him out first. I probably should try advancing to see if I can withstand his spells. But I don't really wanna. It might not, he may actually kill me still. Okay, so Elena killed him again. Oh, a trick brick. And an adamant plate that I'm pretty sure I have no use for. So, Grisnak, let's check Grisnak's experience points. They are above... What is it, 9 million? Yeah, above 9 million. Chantrell's, or Lady Oak Shields, are above 9 million by a smaller degree. Okay, so... I'm gonna save the state. See what happens. Yes, yes, we're we're the best. We'll go to Arboria. It said he was gonna replenish our spell points, but Alandor's still at sixty-eight spell points, so he kinda didn't come through on that. Grisnak's spell points were not lowered. Lillian Dewspray was transformed into a level 13 Archmage, which was the point of all of that. She's now ahead of Griselda. Spell acquiring. Level 5 Archmage. Yep. Level 6 Archmage. Level 7 Archmage. So she's level 13 Archmage because she was level 13 Magician when she was turned into an Archmage. That's how the game works. For It almost feels like a mistake. But it definitely translates one for one. Someone wrote that code past QA. Uh, exploiting it feels like 100% part of the game. I don't know, using it. It's not really even an exploit. Okay, so her spells. We've seen most of these before. We're in the sorcerer spells. Now we're in the wizard spells. Now we're in the archmaid sp spells. So, uh... Mealy men, you bring things close. Batch bell, bring up all the icons. Camaraderie, quiet the summons you don't have. Night lance, I've been using that like crazy. Heal, this resurrects everyone and heals everyone. Brothers Kringle is a summon we don't care about. And then finally, the real spell we actually care about is Mangar's Mallet. I think it does 200 to 800 damage against Everyone. Costs 80 mana, I think. But, you know, sometimes you just want things to die. And I guess that's the end of this segment. Uh, next thing, we'll be heading back to Arborea. And going underwater to look for the water of life.